Hello guys, I'm Sarah Mother Bears and I will try to teach you something today. If you want to have this video with no music, press 179. Thank you very much for your choice. Video will be with music. We will build together ultimate furnace. And this is a creative build because I have almost no space in my base. And this is how it looks. We got the furnace here, we got some pipes as uh, input, we have hydrogen here, we have oxygen here, so let's say this is your piping in your base, this is the output of the furnace, this will be the safety and this is this pipe going to your filtration system so let's start guys together i will post a link in the top right corner where you can see the furnace v4 built the piping and the cables how you will lay it it's completely up to you because this is just an example and I will try to build all the parts of the system separately so you can take a look how to do it. Let's finally start. I will place some electronic devices. So this is the place for the gas mixer. This is the place for the switch. This is the place for the digital valve. Just like this and this is the place for pipe analyzer just like this we have the gas mixing part almost ready so let's place some logic chips the first thing what we will place here is the logic reader it will read the pressure in this pipe between the gas mixer and digital valve we have it here we will program the logic reader with a screwdriver it will read this pipe analyzer so the input will be pipe analyzer the variable will be pressure There is no gas inside this pipe, so it shows nothing, or minus one. We will set our gas mixer like this. Input one will be hydrogen, so 70%, and input number two will be oxygen, 30%. How you will mix your fuel, which ratio, it's completely up to you. The next thing we will place a compare unit which is logic processor and one memory just like this now we will rename our devices Let's say this logic reader will be logic reader, pipe analyzer, this compare unit,
compare pressure to memory and this memory will be just the pressure for the pipe. Something like this. One more thing will be the switch. And let's call it switch fuel on off. Let's program our basic system for mixing fuel. So the first thing will be the compare unit. So the input will be this logic reader with pressure. The input number two will be this memory. And we need to program this memory as well. So we will program it to value 300. So input number two will be memory fuel pipe pressure. The function will be less. So if logic reader pipe analyzer, this one, has less pressure in this pipe, then 300 we will start this gas mixer we will add one logic writer just here and we will program it with a screwdriver so the input will be this compare unit and the output will be the gas mixer The variable will be on. So this is the output, this is the input. Next step. We need to turn on this pipe analyzer first. Because if we will don't do it, the gas mixer will start mixing the gases and the pressure in this pipe will be very high because this logic system here doesn't know there is some gas inside the pipe already. I will turn on these logic chips and the gas mixer is on. The pressure in the pipe is zero right now. I will connect these tanks to these pipes and let's see what will happen. Use a wrench. If the pressure in your fuel pipe is too high, no worries, it will be alright sooner or later. Next step, we will automate this switch. So we need one logic writer. And we will place it here. Let's program it with a screwdriver. So the input will be this switch. The output will be digital valve. And the variable will be on. So we can try it, if it works. It looks like it is working. The pressure in the fuel pipe is a little bit lower than it was. The digital valve is open and we have the fuel inside our furnace. 
we can turn off this switch. Let's work on the output of the furnace. We will need one pipe analyzer and two volume pumps. Now we are going to make our safety system. We will place one logic reader and one logic writer. Then we need one compare unit, which is logic processor, and one memory. Just like this. I will rename these devices here. So this will be pipe analyzer output. This volume pump I will call it sucker. And this volume pump here will be volume pump safety. Now we are going to program it. For easier programming of these chips, right here, we will cut this wire here. It will make it easier for us. I will rename this memory here. To memory safety pressure and we are going to program it with a screwdriver. I will program this memory to 7000. Programmed memory looks like this. The state is 7000 which will be our safety pressure in the furnace. Now we will program this easy circuit right here. So this logic reader will read this pipe analyzer that will be our input. The variable will be pressure. It shows the pressure in the furnace because we have there some fuel. This compare unit will compare the pressure in this pipe with this memory. So the input will be this logic reader. The input number two will be this memory. The function will be greater. So if the pressure in this pipe is greater than this memory, we need to do something. So we will program our logic writer. The input for this logic writer will be this compare unit. The output will be our volume pump safety. And the variable will be on. Let's try it. For our test, we need to lower this value here. Let's say 3000. If I did it right, when I will activate the furnace, we will see this volume pump on.
so it is working. After the successful test, don't forget to set your memory to 7000 again. Just like this. And I will vent the furnace because we will do some things with it. I am releasing the gases into the space because this is just the test build. Otherwise you will connect this pipe with the hot gases from the furnace to your filtration system. The furnace is almost empty. To make it look better I will place one flashing light right here and one here. I will paint this flashing light with red color. And I will add two logic riders. One here and one here. These two logic writers they will have just very easy function. Let's do it. This logic writer here, the input will be compare unit. The output will be this flashing light. And the variable will be on and we will do exactly same thing on the other side so input will be this compare unit the output will be flashing lights and the variable will be on. This is just a test, there is no need to do it. I will increase this memory, let's say to 1000. The flashing light was spinning, so we have the fuel inside this pipe. I will press this button. The fuel will go inside the furnace. And we can see the flashing light again. So our system is mixing the fuel. And the fuel goes inside our furnace. I would say that's enough. If I will activate the furnace, like ignition, this flashing light will spin as well. We will have very high pressure inside the furnace. So we can see what is happening right now. So it looks like our test was successful. I'm sorry, but I moved this flashing light from here to here because we will add one more nice feature and we will need three consoles for it. One here, one here and one here. 
it looks like this. We will need three circuit boards, gas display, and we will insert them into the consoles. One here, one there, and one more here. Just like this. We will cover the consoles with glass. Now we are going to make that consoles work. You will need a data disk. Let's start with this one. There is a hole in, on the console on the left side. Insert the data disk and turn on the console. And we want to display pressure. You can switch it to temperature as well. So we will use pressure. Use pipe analyzer and take the data disk out. Now we can see on the console the pressure in this fuel pipe. Which should be 300, but there is a still pressure after our test. Let's do exactly the same thing with these two consoles. These two consoles will display the temperature and the pressure inside the furnace. So this one will be the temperature. And this one will be the pressure of the furnace. This is it. After our successful test of the furnace, gas mixer and the flashing lights, we will return the previous value to this memory, which is 300. That's the pressure of the fuel in this pipe. Let's do one more test. So the fuel is going inside the furnace. The fuel pressure in the pipe is good. Our consoles are displaying the data from the furnace. Let's start the furnace. So our system is working so far. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end of part number one.